Here we go with <clears throat> number 7a. So I want to graph this sine function here. I've drawn sine of x over here on the right. So all I have to do is identify how. So this is uh, sine of x. So the two things that are new are this and that. I think the 3 is easiest to deal with. We know that the amplitude is 3. It's simply a uh, stretch factor like we've talked about with all of our functions so far. Um, what the 2 right here does, it takes um, this length and kind of changes it. Currently it takes 2 pi to get through the entire cycle. We call that the period. The uh, letter that we use for that is T. Um, I want to, there's a couple ways to think about this. You can say what value do I need to get there to um, get the 2 pi, because I know that 2 pi is where I finish my that full cycle. You could say, oh, the answer is pi, and you get uh, your t equal to pi. The other way is to use the formula, which is 2 pi over um, omega, where this number here is omega. So I get 2 pi over 2, which gives me pi as well. So anyway, I sketch my graph. This is actually really easy. I'm just going to go and basically draw the same thing that I have over here. I'm going to maybe draw a little bit of that if I can, if I have space. Um, and now just label it differently. So since it goes up and down to 3, that's my amplitude. I get a 3 there, and I get a negative 3 here. Now um, the period is pi, and that replaces this, so that's going to go right here. So I'll go and tick and write pi. That makes this pi over 2. And then that makes this 3 pi over 2. That's all you got to do.